Hey everyone. Welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create this. This intro looks good because of these light like leaks which I downloaded from the website vidazy.com. They have a huge collection of free stock videos. You can browse the different categories, even 4K footages are absolutely free here. So download and use it for your videos. Let's get back to the tutorial, open After Effects and create a new composition, as always I am using the same setting. You can click on this icon to switch between composition color or transparency background. Anyway, create a new solid for the background. I am using white color. Now go to the effects tab and search for gradient ramp effect. Add this effect to the background layer, click on the swap color button to switch between colors. Also. Change blend with original to 80% to achieve a nice looking background. Now, add your logo or text to the composition. And place it above the background layer. Pre-compose this logo layer. And select, move all attribution into the new composition. Open this composition. And again pre-compose the logo layer. Now create on another new composition with a huge size. I am using 4000 by 2250, this composition will be used to make a reflection on this logo. In this composition, make a new solid with white color. And make sure to click on make to the comp size button. Add gradient ramp effect to this layer as well, and again click on swap color. Now select rectangle masking tool. Select your layer and draw rectangles like this. Add around 15 masks. They don't have to be same sizes just some random ones. Add horizontally as well. Your layer should look like this. Now, go back to the logo composition and add this HDR comp to this logo comp. Press S to open scale and scale it down to 40%. Arrange this HDR comp to something like this. Now, select your logo layer and make a duplicate of this. Put this layer above the HDR layer. Click on toggle switches mode to open track mat tab. And make alpha mat this layer. Your HDR image will be visible in the shape of your logo. Now press P to open position, and add keyframes from 0 to 10 seconds and move the position. Your layer will animate like this. Arrange this layer size, so it will look good on your logo. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for Gaussian blur effect. Add this effect to this HDR layer and increase the size of blurriness something 50. Now, click on this mode tab and set the blending mode to multiply. Your animation till now will look like this. This is the important step, 
make your logo composition to a 3D layer by clicking on this icon, if you don't see this option here, click on toggle switches modes. We are going to add multiple masks on this logo comps to make our animation dynamic. Select rectangle mask tool and draw a rectangle on this layer. Now select your logo layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate. And add another mask on this layer. Press V to select the move tool, double click on the mask, and move your mask to a different position. Make sure to not leave the empty space between these layers. Do the same until all your logo covered by these masks. We are duplicating and changing our mask position. We have added almost 10 layers with the masks going towards the edges from center. Now open the layer transformation, go to the 5 seconds and add a keyframe on Y rotation. Do the same with all layers, add keyframes on the Y rotation section. After adding a keyframe to all layers, press Ctrl A to select all the layers, and press U to open the keyframe section only. Make sure your keyframes are in the same position. Now go to the first frame and unselect the layers by clicking on any blank area of the layers. In the same Y rotation tab change rotation value in all layers, you are free to give your own rotation value. Do the same with all these logo layers. After adding keyframes on all layers, you will get this similar animation for your logo. Now select all these keyframes and press F8 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor and select this point here. Drag this handle to the front. This graph editor step is optional, you can skip it, if it is confusing. Easy Ease makes the animation to stop smoothly. Perfect. Let's add a camera on the top of these layers. Go to the layer and create a new camera. I am going with the default setting, also, I am not using the depth of field option. Let's animate our camera. Open position by pressing P. And add a keyframe on it. Now go to the beginning, and select Track Z Camera Tool. Click and drag to the top to make the animation come closer to the camera. Select the Track XY Camera Tool to align the logo in the center. Now select Unified Camera Tool, and rotate the camera to something like this. Your camera will animate around your logo like this. Select both keyframes and easy ease them by pressing F8 key. Now open Graph Editor and adjust the curve like this. Let's make the camera animation longer. Simple drag this last keyframe to somewhere around 10 seconds. My logo is looking so big here, so select the Track Z camera tool and zoom out to the nice looking position. And also align it to the center. This is your animation completed. Hit the RAM preview button, and see if it's looking good to you. You can change the camera angle if you are not satisfied with this. 
Let's turn on the motion blur effect to these logo layers. Select all logo layers and click on this icon. And make sure to click here to activate the motion blur. Let's ramp preview this. Perfect, it's looking good to me. But some of my layers are rotating very slow. Unselect all your layers and change rotation to a large number, like I am doing here. Perfect. It's rotating more dynamically. You are always free to make this intro as you like, by the way subscribe me for more tutorials. Now select all logo layers, and press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Right click on any selected layer, and pre-compose it. This is going to be a shadow layer. Put this layer above the background layer. And make it 3D as well. Now press R, and change the X rotation to negative 82. Select the move tool and align this layer to below of logo animation layer. Go to effect and add a fill effect to this shadow layer. Change color to some light gray color. Add another Gaussian blur effect to this shadow layer. And change amount to 90. Perfect. This is your shadow for these layers. Now let's add optical flare from my optical flare pack. It is free, please check the description to download these optical flares. I am using this flare. Import this flare into your After Effects project. And add to the above of all layers. Make this flare 3D as well. And scale the size as you want. Change blending mode to screen. Wow, this looks perfect. Now select all layers and press A three times to minimize all the opening tab, to make some room. Let's add a vignette effect to the scene. Make a new solid with dark blue color. Select ellipse tool and double click on the icon to make a mask on a solid color. Change mask to subtract, and press F to open feather. Change feather size to somewhere around 700 pixels. And also change the opacity to 60%. Arrange all other things which are not looking much attractive. Let's add your channel name or website link. Select the text tool and add your link. Arrange the size and font of the website. Select the move tool and align it to the center. Perfect. Let's animate this website link. Go to the effect and search for slow fade in effect. 
add this effect to the text layer, it will automatically animate your text. Now the final step. Add this flare video which I have downloaded from vidEasy.com. And add it into the After Effects. Place this layer on top of all layers, because this is 4K video, so transform it to fit comp size. Now change its blending mode to screen or lighten. I am going with the lighten mode, and changing its opacity to 50%. This video link you can find in the description below. Perfect. All done. Now play your intro and see the magic. If you found this tutorial helpful please leave a like and share with others. I will see you on next Friday, thank you. Have a nice day.